So we got another Half-Life map today. This is called Snark Pit. Uh, I remember when I used to play uh, Half-Life Deathmatch uh, quite a bit. I remember thinking this map is really cool. Um, it's a little bit compact. So again, I don't know I don't know why you necessarily want to play this in Team Fortress Classic, but since I'm an idiot, we're going to do that anyway. Um, something worth noting about this is that this is also done by uh, Dario Caselli. I, again, I keep assuming I'm saying that name right, or I got the name right at all. You don't know with me. Uh, but it, not only did he make this, this is actually a remake of an earlier map he made in Quake called, uh, I think it was, uh, well, I forget the name of it now, that's good. Um, it was a map he made in 97 while waiting to get hired at Valve. But yeah, anyway, I think his initials are also hitting somewhere. Give me a second. Yeah, there they are. So yeah, there's the our Cassell. Right, I think that's what that's supposed to be, I have no idea. So yeah, as you can see here, though, this is a very cramped map. Um, if I remember, this snark... There's a set a of pipes where you can activate to drop snarks on people. Hence the term snark pit, I know. Um, if I can find that real quick... Ah! If you normally, in Half-Life, if you press this button, uh, yeah, it starts dropping snarks everywhere, and they, like... If you've never played Half-Life, there are annoying little buggers that chase you and slowly chip away damage. And as well, after they've been alive for and active for a while, they explode. So yeah, not pleasant. Definitely not the most pleasant things to deal with. Anyway, uh, enough said. Let's just, uh, I'll show off the map a little bit here. And uh, besides that, there are a lot of little traps here, like things you can activate. Like you can turn this off and on. If you turn it on, it does that. I know, go figure. So a lot of what like uh, worked in Half-Life still works here. Uh, just the snarks aren't- OH! I completely didn't even think that- yeah, the armor pickups from Half-Life are spawning just as fine- just fine here. So there you go. Alongside the medkits. Remember, when I was playing, uh, Frenzy, I said some of the things still work. And lo and behold, they do. Like that. So yeah, remember, Team Fortress Classic, besides assets, like, you know, graphics and, uh, models and stuff, it shares, uh, a few of the actual entities. Uh, you probably don't want to go in here. Because it's radioactive. I completely forgot about that. I thought the liquid just killed you, but I can like you can tell I haven't played this for a while So yeah, um, this might work uh, still in Team Fortress Classic if we were talking like a few people per team But knowing my dumb self, I'm gonna have to put in 32 people here because why not? So I'll show you the snark thing in a second If you go up here, there's also this right here You can, ha you can activate this to you know get stop people from following you you can also do this, which I think just moves that. I'm not sure what the point of this is. Like, even when I used to play Half-Life, I don't know if this actually had a purpose other than just a hiding spot. Oh, my mouse is really goofy. I cleaned my mouse pad earlier, and it doesn't seem to have dried properly. And again, I might just be stupid and have it in the wrong spot. Oh, come on, please. Okay, I won't be tur doing a lot of fast turns of the right because this is decided it doesn't want to work all of a sudden. That's good. Ah, no, there we go. Never mind. It can't make up its mind. I guess I'll show you the actual snark dispenser now. Yeah, here it is. As you can see, it does absolutely nothing in Team Fortress Classic. What a shame. Anyway, I guess I'll play with some bots now. By the way, I did a quick check. It was DCDM3 was the name of the Quake map. Just so, you know, cover my bases there. Can't believe I forgot that. Anyway, let's, uh... I'm gonna be green. I'm gonna break the mold. They're coming up blue though, that's weird. Am I actually green? I am actually green. Let's get the people in here. Let's do this. Oh, I probably should have moved, but oh well. Well, everyone else got spawn killed, so it's all good. Have I successfully added in people? Yes. All right. As it, this game, it fits this game like a glove. I, I remember, um, I tested this briefly. I remember when we first start, all the bots ended up getting team killed. They don't want to move. Oh well, I wouldn't want to move either. Oh, I gotta heal you, your friend! Oh, now you're dead. Whoa! I mean, it's kind of, it's interesting shucking grenades down the hole there. You might be able to, like, get multiple people at once by doing that. So at least this kind of has a purpose if we're talking about this game. Again, I don't know why you want to be engineering me. I don't think you're going to have a lot of opportunity to kill, like, build anything. Silly guy. Yeah, and that's what happens when there's too many people, you get spawn killed too many times. The game thinks you're intentionally killing yourself, and it, like, prevents you from spawning for a few seconds. So, yeah, that sucks. 
That is no bueno. I'll heal you, friend. Yeah, I would say so far, this is probably... Um, at least of between this and Frenzy, I would say, actually... I take back what I said. This one is simply just too nuts for, like, any sort of, like, full server to work on. You know, we just keep, like, killing each other by spawn can, like, getting telefrag. That's no good. I mean, someone liked this enough to create, um... A waypoint file for Box, uh, Foxbot. I should mention, uh, Bo Foxbot, which is the bot I use for this game, uh, requires waypoint files for the maps, so someone has to go in and, like, set up a, like, you know, like, a waypoint file so the bots can understand where to go, what's in board, and stuff like that. You know, someone has to have been playing this if they, like, bothered to set this up. Like, I get either that or just for completion's sake to have all the Half-Life maps there. I don't know. I mean, again, to be fair, in Half-Life itself, you could be playing with this many people. But even then, there'd be weapons and stuff everywhere, so it'd be a little more suited. Also, not a, you don't start with grenades in Half-Life. That's a big thing. Like, in, like, there's only one kind of grenade anyway. Not like, you know, like the, the, the big grenades, the EMP grenades, like, you know, nail bombs, stuff like that. Look at that score. Minus eight. All right. Hey, I'm doing better than .com. Never mind. Uh, yeah, I don't recommend it. You know, Frenzy was probably the better pick between all the maps so far. But we'll have to play the other Half-Life maps before I say which one's actually good for Team Fortress Classic. Don't play this one, though.